hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video as we know that ios 17.7 rc is out and into this video i'm going to talk about this update and i want to share the battery life and the performance and i want to give you one hint iOS 17.7 gives the best Geekbench score and I was surprised to see such a good score which means yes Apple is trying to bring improvements finally because 17.6.1 was not a good update. Being very honest with you guys 17.6.1 was a really bad update. I was not enjoying in terms of battery life, in terms of overall performance. It wasn't a good update. There were so many lags and issues. And the battery life was also not good on that. But recently, iOS 17.7 RC is out. You guys were asking me to do a video regarding this. I was getting questions and I was getting lots of comments that please do a 17.7 RC video because 17.6.1 is not going so well. So yesterday I updated to the 17.7 RC update. If I go to settings, go to journal and to the about section over here, I want to show you the build number. 21H16 is the build number, pretty small build number, which looks decent. And now I want to give you, um, I want to talk about uh, Geekbench score. So I'm going into the Geekbench application over here, CPU history, CPU history, and over here, this is the 17.6.1 score, as you can see over here. It was 1359 on a single core, while 2297 on a multi-core. And if I go to the single core over here, um, it was slightly better. It was quite better than the average score. And, but in the multi-core, there were the, here are the main problems. In multi-core, it was very low. It was around more than 300 points low. This was 17.6.1. This is average iPhone XS. And in multi-core, it was quite low. And this is one of the main reason that why we are not getting a good battery life. However, with the 17.7, it is improved a lot. So going back, this is a 17.7 score, as you can see over here. Now 1350 on a single core, while 2815 on a multi-core, it is still uh, higher. It is slightly lower than the 17.6.1. That doesn't matter at all, as it is better than the average one. And on the multi-core, finally, it, the scores are almost 200 point plus, which is a really good news, which means with the 17.7, Apple is trying to bring stability and overall improvement, which is a really, really good news being very honest with you guys. Now, it is quite obvious that uh, Geekman scores don't define the performance, but they give uh, somehow an idea, a basic idea uh, we can conclude from the Geekman score. There does matter. It is not something that don't matter at all. They do matter and they give an idea that how a performance can be what type of performance we can expect so this is why it is important to include the geekman score it is why i you know um check the performance according to the geekman score now the most important thing is definitely the battery life people do having issue with the battery life on 17.6.1 i was also having issue i did talk about that in the, my previous video if i go to settings and go to the battery over here okay so here you can see that i used my phone for around 100 percent over here according to this graph this line is of 100 percent as you can see on this day i was running i was 17.6.1 so this is about 17.6.1 and i got a screen on time of three hours and four minutes which is not really good i was using a bit of a youtube app store x a bit of insidings maybe doing something but it's by using 100 percent this is the screen on time i was getting which is not really good on this day i am using i was 17.7 rc update i use 75 percent of the my device of the battery life as you can see the difference and screen on time is 3 hours and 22 minutes. It is better than the 100% of 17.6.1, which means battery life is also improving on the iOS 17.7. Over here, as you can see, I used YouTube a lot, then X, then Instagram. Now these, some of the applications used a lot of media because they are playing videos, audios, and they play such media applications use consume a lot of battery. So even though I'm getting a much better battery life, I mean like with a 25% percent 
difference in the battery i'm getting a higher screen on time which is really good which also means that ios 17.7 is getting better now i did a video that how you can install the ios 18 rc on ios 17.6.1 device i mean if you're running ios 17 you can install ios 18 rc if there will be no issue at all ios 18 rc will become the a public update but many people were saying that it is not good to install and some other things but i can assure you i'm using ios 17 ios 18 rc on this device and i'm having a really good time battery life is really amazing the new future features are really cool the control center is really cool like i cannot go back to the old control center at all if you if i show you the difference between over here these i'm not liking these uh icons these query rounded icons i am not liking this these circular shape icons toggles are much attractive in ui i really liking them so this is one of the reasons that I am not able to go back to the iOS 18, iOS 17 at all. And in a couple of days, I will update my this device to iOS 18 also. But for that, I will may take a couple of more days because I still want to test a couple of more feature, more updates regarding iOS 17.7 or maybe or, or any other version. Now you guys let me know that what iOS update you are using. Also let me know that what um iphone you are using in the comment section below also share what types of videos you want to see in the future well this is all from this video also i want to mention one important thing i am seeing that a lot of people are not subscribing many new people are coming to this channel which is really good we are about to hit a 500k views total on channel i know it has compared to others it is very small but still we are growing so i want to give a message that please keep sharing keep subscribing and uh, keep liking share this channel with more and more iphone users because i'm going to bring more iphone related content in upcoming days and i just want to focus also i want to focus day in the live videos uh, i really like to i really like uh, shooting day in the live video i was also getting comments on my yesterday video that it is really good people are appreciating that the day in the life video of ios 18 rc if you haven't checked out that go and check out that i'm glad that people are liking that and i'm happy that people are liking that so i will try to bring such more videos well that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel if you have any sort of questions again a drop on uh, x if you want to at the at the ios guy 101 also no i am on snapchat so if you want to uh, catch me on snapchat yesterday i posted a um, story behind the scenes so if you want to catch me on snapchat you can over here this is my id you can scan if you want to well i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out